I wired up the new controller to the HO scale. That's the black wire is going to the HO. And it works. See those are all wired up. So I got one controller that controls two trains. Uh, now, how the HO works is, you know, you just plug the controller in, right? You just plug it in. And then you're just thinking to yourself, okay, I turn it on and I turn the crank on this and then the trains start moving. I was fiddling around with that and that doesn't seem to be the case. So as soon as you flip on the power to this control, the HO immediately starts moving even though the controller is at stop. So that's really unusual. So you can have one train moving while the other one is at a standstill, which is really unusual. I'll show you. See, I'll flip the switch on here and this thing is at stop. I'll flip it on. And then the HO just starts moving. Look at that, isn't that crazy? Let's watch it come around the corner if it makes it. Oh, it just stopped. It stops, this thing is old. I'm gonna get a new one, this thing doesn't even run that great anyway. There we go. There we go. And then I'll cut the power to it. See, the power's off. We'll turn it on again. Oh, it didn't work when I turned it on that time. See, then you can turn this knob. And then this one will start moving. Well, that one's over. Or, oh, wow. That came off. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I'm going to get a new one. This thing just doesn't work anymore like I thought it did. But at least you don't have the con. Oh, come on. Let's see if I can get the controller. Okay, there we go. What the hell is that? It hit something. It's so hard to get the train in the frame and the. But you can clearly tell the controller's on because the pilot lamp is on. Keep fiddling around with this, it'll eventually move again. Then the O gauge is. It, it just moves. Let's see if they can hit each other. Bam, look at that. You know. No, the HO can't go anywhere, so we're gonna turn it around. Literally, we literally have to turn it around. So just be glad that they don't come across each other when they're both running at the same time. <laughs> I'll turn it on again. What the? I swear to God, that thing was working a second ago. Uh, okay, that's on. There we go. I think it should work now. Why did it go backwards? Let's pull in some assistance. Let's push it with this train. Let's push it. Like, I just don't get it. Let's use that track to power lights. Oh, the light just went off. Yeah, that switch just kills it every time. Wait, well, I got an idea. This guy's put him on the track. Let's run him over. Oh, it, oh, it ran him over. That guy's dead now. Cool.
What's the O gauge? Yeah, you know the really weird thing is you can put this HO on the O gauge and it'll actually run on it. Like, no joke. See, this is the HO. It actually sits on two rails on there. And it'll run on the O gauge. I'll show you what I mean. Look at that. It actually runs on O gauge track. That's amazing. It is half the size, so I guess it would fit on the track. There goes the O gauge that way. This one's. Okay, let's see if it can. Let me run it on this side here. But yeah, it actually kind of fits on here. Look at that, that's crazy. At least the direction controller works. The arrow, the switch is pointing to the left, and this is the direction it goes. It goes left, and then I switch it to the right, and it goes backwards. Or maybe not. Interesting. Uh, okay. Alright, the thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's still facing right. And it goes backwards. Wow, that's amazing. So that works for this train. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't want to get rid of this because I like it too much to get rid of it. But oh, yeah, I'll buy a new one because this one doesn't completely not work. It's just broken, but. I like it enough to keep it. It's all that matters. But at least the old gauge completely is functional. Yeah, this this engine runs way better than that new one, but and it's got a light, so this one just runs better. I like this controller because you can have it go like at a really slow speed. Whereas that other metal controller over there. That yellow one, it broke today, so I cut the wires off of it, and I recycled them and wired those to the HO. So I kind of recycled something there. So yeah. So I, I actually want to try something real quick. I got a couple of LEDs here. I want to see if they work when you wire it to the HO track. I'm curious. Okay. Wired. Right. This is really hard. When I'm on camera, it's kind of hard for me to do it. Alright. I think I got it. There we go. See if those LEDs illuminate. Let me turn it on. Just the train moves. Are you serious? That's the kind of toy I like that can go really slow. And you can slowly increase the speed. Why didn't those LEDs work on the track? That's weird. You know what? Let me see. I'm going to wire them to the... Uh, this. Track. See if it does anything. Those are wired. Alright, let's turn it on. Train's getting power, lights are not illuminating. Maybe they just don't work on third rail. That's weird. Alright, there, let's try that. Nope, still nothing. I might have blown them out, but, you know. Maybe they just don't work on this anyway. Maybe wiring them to the controller. Nope, doesn't want to go. There, I think that might be it right there. No? It's a complete. Let me try wiring this to a battery. Maybe it'll work. A C battery might work. I'll hook that up there. Right there, I think I got that.
What the fuck? That is really weird. It's wired up. Nothing. I'm going to try to rotate the battery around to see if that way works. Very hard to do off on camera there. There, I think I... I think they got blown out. Let's kick this. Let's do it. Here comes the Scott wagon. Let's pull it. Yeah, there's the Scott wagon. Look, see? This is a, a Scott wagon. Let's give it a push. There we go. Look, that's a Scott wagon. This. It's got a handle. Maybe that's not what it's supposed to be. Okay. Maybe it's only this light. This light came out of the train I wrecked because it didn't work. Let's see if it works. 